now the real war begins. Okay, because, um, yeah, we've got a pause right now for the weather, but now that Putler has, uh, <clears throat> you know, he doesn't have anything holding him back anymore. He doesn't have to worry about the, you know, the fake election. Now he can do whatever he can do whatever he wants for the rest of his reign, essentially. Uh, now that the now that the uh, quote unquote elections are over. Oh, <laughs> fat thumbs and old bad eyes, not speech to text. <laughs> OK, I feel you. Um, so, you know, that's look. Um, the. These next, I've been saying it over and over, but these next few months are the most critical for Ukraine in the whole war since, since the very beginning. Um, you know, we've got a couple weeks maybe of this Rasputitsa. And then I think we're going to be looking at a full, like just Russians throwing everything. They, they're going to they'll start full draft. You know, the full conscription, none of this uh, uh, crypto conscription. They're going to have another half a million, maybe a million uh, soldiers coming to the front. Yeah, yeah. And, and they will. They are already actively interfering in the United States elections and the European Parliament. Okay. And um, that's, it's, it's full on war. Now, it, this is this we, we from here on out. This is this is a new level of war that that uh, Americans, most Americans I know, and um, you know, most Europeans are not ready for, not prepared for, in terms of their mentality. They're not there. They're not there. So it's going to get bad. It's going to get really bad. 